What is up, Sex Felines? MCIK here, back with another Warframe tutorial, guys. Today, we're going to be looking on how to get the Flow mod in Warframe. The Flow mod actually adds uh, power maximum uh, capacity to your Warframes, basically allowing you to have more max uh, power. Alrighty, guys, so the ways you're going to begin, this is going to be a little bit interesting. Um, actually, it's from three enemies, and uh, they're all butchers. Uh, these are from the Grenier faction. Uh, first off, we have the uh, Grenier Arid Butcher. Uh, you can find him on any Phobos mission you want to. Uh, if you guys want to farm for him, you can do a defense or survival on Phobos. Any level, uh, any defense or survival on Phobos. Uh, and you can farm for the Arid Butcher. The next one is the regular default Butcher. You can find him on any Grenier mission. Uh, I suggest don't do one on Earth or Phobos. Just do uh, one on any other one. And you should be able to find a Grenier Butcher. Their spawn level is like one or something. <laughs> yeah, they're super easy to find. I suggest you go for uh, the Arid Butcher or the next one, which is the Grenier Frontier Butcher. Uh, now, the Frontiers, as you know, you find them on Earth. And uh, this can be on any defense or survival on Earth, your choice. Uh, but, I mean, you don't have to do defense or survival, but I just say it's a good way to farm for them and if you want to uh, if you want to get this mod from that way. So, uh, yep, do any earth survival or defense to get the frontier uh, butcher. Alrighty, guys, and the last and final way to get this flow mod is going to be from a T3 survival reward. Uh, now, this is any survival uh, mission, any faction of your choice, and basically just hold off till 20 minutes or 30 minutes to get this uh, mod, mod reward. Uh, I don't suggest you do this. Uh, I have never heard of anyone getting the mod this way. Uh, of course, on the forums, it says you can get it this way from a T3 survival reward. That's all up to you, but uh, if you want to go do this and have some fun doing survivals anyway, go do this. But I suggest you stick with the first three, uh, killing the uh, the butchers, the Arid Butcher and the Frontier Butcher and the Original Butcher. So anyway, that's how you get the flow mod, guys. Alrighty guys, and that was the tutorial. Um, I'm sorry this was a bit of a shorter one, uh, but there isn't a lot of ways to get this mod, but I thought I'd do a tutorial for you guys anyway, just because I haven't uploaded a video in quite a while, and I'm not sure if you guys can tell but at the end of the video, I was going to tell you, but basically, uh, finally got the new computer, as you can tell, no more lag, and, uh, well, for the most part, but it's really good, and I should be able to upload a lot more videos. I've actually took the first two days, once I got it, getting everything situated, uh, with, you know, the editing software and the recording software. It took me <laughs> quite a while, I had to stay up late, so... But anyway, it's all worked out now, so should be you guys should be seeing a lot of videos from me. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys did the mod yourself, go slap the paw on that like button, guys. That'd be awesome. If you guys enjoyed the channel, subscribe today to join the feline pack, and I will talk to all of you sex felines in the next video. Stay cool, guys, and peace out. Cool sign. Uh, it's Raptor and the lion. Oh, it's a mouthful, man. It's it's gonna be Raptor, and uh, you can basically kill the boss. The good thing about Raptor is, oh yeah, and this is on your robot. This is the boss on your robot. Uh, Raptor does not scale, so which means he will always stay the same health and deal the same damage.